making the Community Expanded Services Act a reality. To those contributing to the creation and success of the Kedzie Center, the West Side Community, and the rest of the LSAH CAP members, we're getting things done, guys. Yeah. We too saw that overwhelming support to passing of the referendum. And with that, the promise of a new mental health center in our community. It has been humbling to be part of what I hear from Deacon Greg say, story of triumph. Following the tragic loss of our city centers, we proudly get to replace them with centers fully approved, funded, and overseen by members of our community. Uh, my husband, Jesse, and I, um, small business owners in Avondale, all state agency that has been there for almost 30 years. We're committed to our community. When we hear our longtime customers come in grieving the loss of a family member lost to a successful suicide, we grieve with them. When we hear customers express worry over not knowing if they can stay in their homes, the homes they know, the only home they know because of raising um, cost of living and rent, we worry with them. We feel the residual, residual trauma of immigrant families who experience sleepless nights with fear of being deported and having to leave their U.S. born children behind. This is a community, a social issue. Our communities need access to affordable and quality mental health services. It's vital we continue to address the stigma around mental health services and highlight the positive impact mental health services have on creating healthier, happier, and safer communities. This property tax is minimal to the tremendous impact these centers are going to have in our communities and the society at large. It's a win-win. Thank you so much.